What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and in this video we're going to take a look at Deathlocket in PvP. It's been a long time coming and we're going to team her up with probably my favorite teammate for her, of course, her namesake Deathlock. But just before we get into the build, I do want to thank first, Matt at Matt Sketches for this graphic, and secondly, a very special thank you to Agent Seraph1 who in part helped bring you this video, so let's hear it for him. Now for this particular video, I am going to go over my build in detail, and I think we have a few pretty awesome choices. Now some of it may change as we tinker around with them, and just get more experience in playing with them, but for now, this is what we're using. First, on Deathlock we're using the Calculated Force and Powered Ice 08. This will cause him to pack even more of a punch with that level 1. And also in that same vein, we're using the Hair Trigger and Powered Ice 08. This means his level 1 attack will follow itself up. And by the way, we have Sharpshooting on it. So it's going to grant Perfect Shot. Meaning the second shot will do even more damage. No exaggeration, I think this attack has done around 40,000 damage. It has about 4 hits and did close to 10k each. Then multiply that times 2, and you may get around 80k. Pretty insane. Definitely a knockout move because of that combat assessment. Then after that, we place the Ionizing A-ISO on his level 2, and it applies Radiation Exposure. Then for his final 2, we're kind of giving away our look at his new ISO. He's definitely going to be on that video list for featured characters with new special ISO. First, we won the Disseminating A-ISO. This is going to make his Suppression Grenade an area attack. So it's a quick action that exhausts and neutralizes the enemy, and it's now an AoE. Pretty sick. The only thing is it's kind of odd as far as damage wise, you'll see what I mean in the game. But those debuffs should work. Finally, we have the Topical A-ISO. This causes another AoE attack to apply Despair. So an AoE Despair. Since we have this, we can take off the Ionic Devourer from our agent. All in all, another nasty attack. So that's Deathlock, and now moving on to Deathlocket, who we are trying to feature, but Deathlock is a show stealer for sure. Still, on her, we're going to try out first the Explosive E-ISO for some extra damage, and then once again the Calculated Force and Powered ISO 8. This will basically boost her level 1 and snipe. You could feel free to use another E-ISO in its place, but I do actually like using her level 1. One of the reasons for that is because we're going to try the irradiated A-ISO on it. Basically what that debuff will do is cause the target to take damage every turn and increases damage taken from energy attacks. All things being said, it should work out pretty well with our build. Next we're using the manifesting A-ISO for Epiphany, or a Guaranteed Crit, then the Calamitous, followed by Radiologic Knowledge. This one you may not want to use because it'll only help out Mega Blast, but check out Mega Blast before you decide. By the way, one other thing that I do want to point out is her snipe also causes despair, so we're pretty well covered right there. For the most part, my agent's just going to be using a normal setup, but we did put on the Cosmic Cardinal. That's going to add some additional firepower. The first team that, while we were recording, they gave us happens to be Victor Mancha and Beta Ray Bill. Prior to this, I believe we did our first four fights of the day just kind of getting familiar with them and testing out our build. They did very well. Tons of damage. And we even beat a 35k health Cloak and Dagger and Angerer team. Unfortunately, we weren't rolling. So that was pretty dumb, we definitely should have been recording. I will say we beat them very handily, and that may be where Deathlog did that 40k from his first strike. A follow up wasn't needed, but he would have had that as well. The only things that they seem to have any problems with is one, stamina drain. I really hate that. And two, Deflect did stop them a few times from attacking. As far as some quick strike, major damage, just check them out. Right away he's going to destroy the enemy agent. Unfortunately, he has back for more. 
But you also see that even our Cosmic Cardinal is pretty well set up. In part, thanks to Irradiated. So yeah, that damage was absolutely sick. The only thing is we should have used our Quick Action first. And I guess we got too excited and forgot to. But after this Thunder stops rolling, it's going to be our Agent up next. And with his turn, well they've locked down quite a few of our abilities. So I guess we're just going to use the Dark Energy Blade, which Beta Ray Bill will step up and take. The fortunate part of this is he doesn't have the Elite E-ISO, so I actually rather hit him anyways. Then the enemy agent of course is going to come back from the dead, heal quite a bit, and use the Light Fantastic. So pretty annoying turn. Since they now have Mirror Reality, on Deathlock it's turn we're going to use her AoE level 6 and we'll at least spend their heal. So once again we're back in business, and with Deathlock coming up, I almost feel sorry for their team. Plus this time I'm definitely using our Suppression Grenade. It's a quick action AoE exhaust, so you definitely should throw it out. We'll begin by using that. This is where things get a little bit odd, because it is an AoE attack because of that AISO. But when you use it, it's going to look like it tries to damage usually only the top enemy, but the other characters should have exhausted and neutralized. Here I don't know what happened, I guess it's because he dodged, but it did bother me at first. Still, we're going to unleash our level 1, and with our hair trigger follow up, we easily take out the agent. So he got what he deserved. After that, the enemies aren't too badly hurt, but our agent and deathlock are up next. And with my agent, we'll first use the Singularity Matrix. An incredible free action buff item. It's only going to help us crit even more and hit that much harder. Then we'll follow that gadget with the Smothering Shadow. And lastly, I'll use the Light Fantastic to heal us, remove any debuffs, and give us Mirror Reality. Then with Deathlocket, we're going to use Combat Subroutine and our Mega Blast. Remember I was talking about that damage boost? Yeah, she's pretty awesome. So that's going to be the first win down. And just because I don't want the video to run too long, we're going to do one more match. So we'll just click whoever they give us next. Well, right after getting our daily prize. 10 gold would be nice, but we end up with one challenge battle. That's pretty much what we win 90% of the time. Well, let's go through the flight deck and collect our flights, then we'll get this second match. Like I said, this team has been rock solid ever since I put them in. So this will be, I believe, their sixth match, and they're 5-0 currently. I will keep going with them though and test them out, plus see if we can get any more awesome fights. But this is most likely going to be the final one in this video. By the looks of it, we're facing a pretty heavy static charge team. The enemy agent though wasn't preventing debuffs, so we start with the Smothering Shadow. It doesn't really matter that Thor was preventing it. We still got the debuffs on the Agent and Electro. So that was well worth it. After that, I suppose we'll use the Blackest Void since there really isn't any other great option. So yeah, let's go with that. Now on Hayden's turn, he takes some dot damage and we reflect whatever he was going to do. So sorry about that, but it's not going well for them. With Deathlocket, we're going to fire her level 1, and I'm actually going to go after Electro. He's probably the main enemy I want to take down first. Also, we get a follow-up attack, so he's actually kind of hurt early on. Definitely hurt enough for Deathlock. So all we have to do is make it through Thor's turn. He of course is going to be protected against by my agent, and Empowering Strike really isn't that devastating. Plus, after that attack, he's getting assessed quite a bit, so he's in for some trouble later on. Either way, though, after using our level 15 ability, we're going to throw out our quick action. And like I said, you see the damage on Electro, but the entire enemy team does have those debuffs this time. So the AISO is working, but it isn't. I don't know how else to explain it. But after that, rather than using our level 1, I'm actually going to go with Despair this time. We'll launch the Biotech Launcher. It's still going to be enough to finish Electro once his dots kick in. So pretty much best case scenario. Next, with my agent, he's just going to play support, and he's going to begin by using Singularity Matrix, then the Light Fantastic. 
Now I'm not going to guarantee an amazing ending with Deathlock it once again. That doesn't always happen. But regardless, she's definitely going to help the team out. Oh man, I hate the Spirit Blade. The stamina drain alone is so annoying. But on Deathlock it's turn, we're going to use Combat Subroutine. And then after that, we'll fire our level 1 on Thor. And of course you will follow up with a quick shot because of Combat AI. After that, my agent's also going to blast Thor and he barely hangs on. I don't know how the defense gets so lucky, but that is a very small amount of HP. Deathlock unfortunately was ripped off, so back to my agent, we're going to use Singularity Matrix once again. It's a free action, so why not? And then I'm just going to use the Improbability Field. By the way, I'm kind of thinking back and wondering how many times did I confuse Deathlock and Deathlock it in this video. I feel like that was bound to happen. If I did, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section below. Anyways though, we're going to finish off Thor with a Dark Energy Blade. And then with Deathlock it, I'm going to use a Snipe. We might as well take a look at it. It also does decent damage. And we'll gain a quick shot follow up. So in this match, Deathlock's going to finish it off. But still, like I said, they're both valuable. Deathlock just has some really hard hitting attacks. As far as Deathlock it, we'll take another look at her at some point in the future. But I do hope you enjoyed our coverage of her in PvP. That's going to be it for this one, but I want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.